Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the coolest videos I think I've made. Uh, the fix is insane. It's super cool, but let's go ahead and get to it. Now, for the past three seasons or so, our boat has been doing this random surging back and forth. Um, at first, it was only doing it maybe like two times that season. And then the season after that, it was like maybe once a boat ride. And then this season, it was doing its, the surging was so bad that it would completely stop and then the engine would shut off. And then you would turn the ignition on and off like four or five times, and then it would finally turn back on and you could idle back home. Um, the first thing we did was the spark plugs. And then we even looked at the fuel filters and replaced all of that just to make sure there was no water in the canister. The uh, battery voltage was good to go. <clears throat> the ignition voltage was good. The brake battery terminals were actually cracked and broken. And when we were wiggling that when the engine uh, was running, that would turn the uh, engine on and off. So we thought that was it. We uh, fixed that and it wasn't. The engine block ground, we were messing with that and cleaning it, and then the engine started up and ran perfectly after that, but then it wasn't fixed. The kill switch, you turn the kill switch on and off, and the kill switch would be intermittent as well, and we replaced that, still was intermittent. And then the 60 pin connector, I took that apart, and inside it was all corroded, so I was thinking maybe it was a connector issue, or a grounding issue, some sort of electrical issue after going through all of the mechanical components such as the fuel pump, the spark plugs, the ignition system. It must have been something electrical because it was so intermittent. And that brought me to doing that previous video I did with the, my engine's not running and went through that entire manual and figured out that my relay was bad. The relay was not bad. I changed it out and then it ran perfect. How can you explain that? And let me tell you, this next video clip will tell you exactly that. It's insane. So knocking on the back of the engine block, that's where the computer is. We were knocking on it and the fuel pump system was engaging just like it should. And it was engaging on and off, on and off. And so we must have concluded that there was something wrong in the brains of the computer. Now we were looking online and there were about 800 bucks for a used one that was like certified and good to go. Um, so I said, there's nothing to lose. Let's just take this computer part, computer part and look at it. And we did, and look at what we saw. As you can see, when I move the capacitor over, it is just barely lifting off. So every time the boat was moving or jiggling back and forth, this capacitor was turning the circuit on and off. We do think this is a manufacturing issue and a fatigue issue. Uh, why is that? Because the uh, capacitor was actually installed incorrectly. Uh, when someone installed it or a machine installed it, uh, a capacitor actually has two um, points, a positive and a negative, and one of them is longer, I believe it's the negative. And when it went through the circuit board, uh, both of them um, got like jammed and actually bent above the circuit board. So it was doing a really sharp bend on both of them. And that uh, I believe the shorter side actually broke. The other side didn't. And so what happened over the past like 350 hours, it um, was bending around and moving and then it finally broke. All the other ones, they're perfectly straight. And so when I saw this weird bend on this weird capacitor, I moved it and I could see the wire was just off the circuit board. So we soldered it and put it back in and I knew that was the problem. There were no more intermittent or weird grounding issues or anything like that. This was the problem. All right, so I got my soldering station here, some lights. 
recipes in the kitchen here. And here is, I believe this is a capacitor. Go right to it. And all I had to do is push the wire all the way in. And now, oh, I straightened it out as well. And then I pushed it in and it's looking really good. It turned on right when I hit the ignition and it started up. It was beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the computer installed, tightened down. I just wanted to sit here uh, just to double check and see what happens here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, see if the fuel pumps will prime. So I'll put the key in. Fuel pumps do prime and it will start guaranteed. <laughs> smiling on the boat let's uh, go ahead and trust ourselves and put it back in the little protective case here so you just slide it in it's a little rubber housing in here Just for time's sake, I'll tighten those after the video. And then this uh, clip, you can see these little vertical slots here. If you look up, you can see them, but you just want that facing out. And then I'll slide right in like so. It just kind of sits there. And then you want to go ahead and tighten this. It's a really long bolt. So it'll move. not too tight this is a plastic connector so you can feel it it just stopped right there so maybe just I don't know a quarter inch more you don't want to break that plastic connector that'll be a bad day and then this rubber boot it's gonna go around there I'll do that later just to save some time for the video and then we've got all of our relays and connectors that we've been diagnosing with that all snaps on back here this connector moves up here Got a bunch of testing equipment, but let's go ahead and take it for a little test drive. And of course, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Push that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.